Hey guys, we are live on YouTube. Uh, welcome everybody to RC Talk, another night of RC Talk. Tonight I want to talk about the ARMA, the X, uh, EXB Extreme Bash uh, from uh, ARMA. Uh, they just released the kit version of the uh, Outcast. Uh, <coughs> so it is a roller, uh, so it's basically the same as the uh, EXB 8S, but it has no electronics. But we'll go through it a little bit and talk about it. And we do have some guys here with us again tonight. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> What's up? We got Nitro Freak, because we I tried to just my, uh, Kevin uh, radioactive on scale RC all in the chat. Hello, guys. <clears throat> hey, guys. The radioactive scale RC says he's just getting set up to jump in. Well, make sure when you jump in, you don't hurt anybody. You know, you do have to be careful when you jump in. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. uh, RC athlete, you should have an email. I believe I have you <clears throat> in my email list. Yep. Can check, make sure. If not, I can send it if need be. Okay. Is he in there? <coughs> he is there. Anyways, if you, oh, he did not get an email. Okay. Hang on a sec. Maybe it's in the spam folder. Yeah, check your spam folder. No, I don't think I ever sent him an email because I don't have, I, I typed RC, uh, um, RC athlete and it's not even coming up. Um, L, it's under Lyle in your thing. I sent you the email address. Okay. <laughs> I just sent it to him though. You should have it in a moment there, Lyle. We have radioactive scale RC with us also. And uh, hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Perfect. ABRC 13 is with us also. Any of you guys have fifth scale RC trucks or cars? Yes. Which nope. one do you have? No. Mostly 5P <laughs> and the <clears throat> Desert Monkey. Hello, Lyle. Lyle is coming in. There is Lyle's forehead. Yeah. We're missing your chin, Lyle. The audio is still that. on. The audio is still on for the live stream. You got to cut that out. We're missing your chin, Lyle. Yeah, now we can see the bust of you. <laughs> the bust version. <laughs> yep. So you have the 5B and another one from uh, HPI? No, the uh, Desert Buggy. Oh, Desert uh, Buggy. That's low C, right? Yeah, no. both one fifth gas. Okay, both gas. Okay. Doesn't Red Cat have a one fifth rock crawler? Yeah, yeah. so call the claw back. Claw yeah. Back. Yeah. There's like okay. nothing that thing won't get over. <laughs> yeah, I see it on YouTube like that. <laughs> yeah, we got a guy here that has one of those, and he put one of the um, Tomator bodies on it from one of the ride-on toys. Oh, yeah? And when his daughter was younger, she actually rode on the thing, and he drove it around. <laughs> I've seen people get towed by that thing, too, with uh, a wagon. Oh, yeah, he does that, too. <laughs> so uh on the different one before... one fifth oh go ahead no no go ahead about the one fifth oh yeah i seen a, on video a one fifth scale was climbing up like stairs in your house yeah i forgot oh, yeah. what, oh, I the forgot tires are what big it was yeah the yeah. tires and rims on that thing are about as big as someone's face <laughs> Uh, sorry, I missed you on Welsh Rob's live tank. 
Yeah, I was there the other the other day, and uh, I saw Brad and uh, Jack on uh, Big Heads RC. Yes, time. yes. And I was I in just... and out. Okay, you were in and out. Yeah, I I, I sent him a bunch of stuff. Uh, Big Head, I got his email and I sent all all the stuff I wanted him to see. <laughs> Uh, Brad, just so you know, uh, I've been watching some posts of uh, Aaron from RC Sparks, and uh, he's moving actually 5,000 miles away from where he is right now. 5,000 kilometers. 5,000 kilometers, yeah, true, sorry. Yeah, 3,000 uh, which, miles. Which is basically even farther east from me. So he's west, so he's moving. Uh, hopefully he's staying in Canada, but uh, I, he's moving way east, so... I don't know where he's moving, uh, but he's been dropping some hints. But what's really neat, he's been showing videos of his new property. And he's been talking, he goes, oh, what about, what can I do here with RC? Like, uh, can I do a, uh, um, a new loading wars? Can I do this? Can I do that? And like, this, this is going to be good to do that with RC. So he might come back. Like, he took a break and maybe he's moving. Maybe he wants to do that and then he's going to come back. I don't know, but it looks like it because of the way he's been talking. I wish I could talk to him. I could tell him that with the IR, he is going to have even more property at this time around, from what I understand. Oh, yeah. And, he's and, got yeah, yeah. property over there. Yeah. And I, I'm hoping he makes a mecca where he could do any type of thing RC related, anything. Okay, Lyle, it's time for you to time in here. He can't hi, say Sean. anything. I'm enjoying listening. He can't, he can't say, say anything. Because he knows the true story. Yeah, but he can't say anything. <laughs> oh, Are you, you sworn to secrecy? Uh, I'm not going to put him on the spot. Lyle signed an NDA. <laughs> yeah. he's, mo he's moving to uh, Ohio, Brad, so that he can play in the Met. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey, okay. hey, uh, John's been in them. Okay. He says they're very nice. And so I'm not blowing smoke up any of you guys' butts. Uh, so John agrees with me. It's a beautiful place. You're full of what? I said blowing smoke <laughs> up your butts. <laughs> right over your head, Brad. <laughs> Kevin Gibbs, uh, I guess he's staying in yep. Canada. So it's probably New Brunswick, Newfoundland. I don't think it's Newfoundland, uh, but he's moving somewhere where there's a lot of country, so and a lot of woods. How's, how's about in two? How's it been two weeks time? We just wait till he posts up. Where is that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I told him to stop in Ottawa on his way by. It's like yeah, I saw visit, you put that. <laughs> yeah, visit Ottawa. Stop by. Like uh, I'll be the tour guide. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to see in Ottawa? Oh yeah, lots to see in Ottawa. <laughs> There's some old, there's some old, uh, lots of old buildings too, don't you? You got in Ottawa. Eh, they're old, but not that old. It's nothing to uh, cry about. But we've got a lot of museums. Right. They're yeah, not they're, old, old. they're not as old as Tank. In other words, no, 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 no. Not, what, I'm to say, to say it. <laughs> what I'm trying to well, say is that the, <laughs> they got uh, architecture that looks old, like some of Britain. You mean like the Parliament building? Yeah, uh, probably the Parliament building is probably the oldest. Well, there's some older, but we don't have castles and things like that, that's for sure, like Europe. But seeing the locks and uh, taking the Lady Dive uh, bus tour, which is actually the bus that goes into the river, it's kind of cool. Only a few people died when the boat sunk, the bus sunk, but other than that, everything's fine. I, I heard a I heard a very old story about Niagara Falls in 1912, where the, uh, this big ice bridge broke apart and killed three people. Oh, yeah. well, people died yeah. there. Also. They're waiting. No, they're no. waiting for you, Brad, to go up and do, go over it in a barrel. Uh, no, this was had Robert? nothing to do with it. This had nothing to do. With it. There was a bridge that they said it would be oh, safe for them it, to it walk on, and it just broke apart. Yep, it freezes up every so many. Yeah years this or so and they were out there walking on that, it and it just collapsed yeah yeah this is this happened in february 4th 1912 this when it happens and and one of the people who died was from ohio oh yeah hey magnified yep. rc's magnified. in the chat hey magnified get, get back in here magnified uh brad, uh, brad misses you and it was 5 yeah, 40 right, p.m and 35 seconds when <laughs> <was about> <laughs> what turn those screws sean turn those screws <laughs> 
Hey, yeah. Sean, I uh, sent you something in the mail. It'll be there about Monday, man. I'm trying to fucking know. <laughs> I guess it'll be a good surprise Monday. Yeah. It'll be a good surprise Monday. Hey, Lyle, you look uh, unusually good today. Usually you have a lot of color in you and uh, look very relaxed. I changed my chair. I trimmed my beard and I got a lot of sun and uh, I got a, probably the most beautiful dog in the world. We know you got a beautiful dog there. Yeah, you, you, and you know what? It's going to be hot starting tomorrow in Ohio, and it's going to get into oh, the nineties. Too fucking hot. It's thirty-six degrees outside and twenty-eight degrees inside. So we're we're talking we're talking over eighty degrees out by you. Oh yeah, yeah, in my house. Uh, yeah, I have that happen too. I don't have a very weak air conditioner. I need an eight thousand BTU to cool me down in this place. Well, and my place hire is small. Me, you pay a lot of money to get me down there. <laughs> no, but it's we're getting only, really big summertime temperatures this soon. It's only 103 outside right now. That's and, 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 why, why would anybody ever want to live in Arizona? Okay, only a hundred. Cold hurts. Hurts. The cold it's good for her. <laughs> I've only got water up to my ankles here. Yeah, I, I think that I was really damn it. hard. Yeah. I was reading this thing the other day, though, where Arizona is actually drying up, like the reservoirs, there's a couple of reservoirs completely drying up. Yeah. We got what Arizona does, you know what's interesting yeah. is that the, the, the high desert in our continent is uh, actually the wettest desert in the world because they get a blooms of plants and stuff and they have a wet season. So we have the greenest desert in the world. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but that's the case. Oh. That's, just, that's just like when I was a lumberjack, Brad. I worked in the Sahara. So l lots of you know. <laughs> you know, the Sahara once was green. Yeah, that's it. That's how good of a lumberjack I was. <laughs> that's how good of a lumberjack. <laughs> damn good lumberjack, Sean. <laughs> uh, lots of you know that I, I have a track backyard on my backyard. Most of you guys know mm -hmm. that I have a track. I made a whole bunch of videos and things like that. Yep. So I cannot do my track there anymore uh it was owned by two people uh one sold it to his daughter or gave it to his daughter and she came over she saw i had that at the beginning she said yes at the end she said no we can't do it anymore and then the, the other one beside her put a sign also no trespassing so i cannot go there anymore and so i took my track down or i'm taking my track down yeah, I seen you. I seen you moving it the other day with it. Yeah. And then you, you run from you done a, a run from it, no? Yes, I did uh, go do over there. Like it's on his property. We're going to do a section where it's going to be. We're going to do a section where it's going to be competitive, kind of with with a lot of buildings and a lot of different things. Yeah. And we are going to do a track in the woods, just like I had, but it's actually on government property. It's like a park. Uh, so it's it's a like not a provincial provincial park, but it's a park that people are allowed to go on there and take a walk, and we are allowed to do little trails as long as we don't put permanent. Uh, that what you would call a crown land. Yes, crown land. So there as long go. as we don't put permanent structures on it. So. Oh, and uh, clean up after yourself. Yeah, and we clean up after ourselves. So we're right, going to do a trail fun. there. We're going to be a long trail, just like I had here. We're going to do that. So n n that means. People can't tell me after five years, get the hell out. Oh, How far away from your house is it? It's five minutes, so it's not that Five minutes? Long. Yeah, but do you want to know good. something, Frank? It's, it's still end of an era for you, and I and it, 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 it upsets me for you. Yeah. Lyle, but, do, quick quick question, Lyle. Do you want your sternium up there, or do you want time to change that to Lyle? Say that again, sir. Do you want your sternium up on the screen, or do you want time oh, to change care. You're fine, yeah. Thanks, thanks for asking that. Yeah, but I don't care. They changed the law. So I, I, I even, so I told my wife, I'm getting rid of all the stuff I have on my yard, even the barn, because he's having a scale uh, area. So I, I gave him, well, not gave him my barn, but he's taken my barn to put it on his property. Oh, he's going to that. There's nothing like a good burn barn. Barn <laughs> burning. <laughs> yeah. This I mean, thing is massive. That. This thing is four feet wide. Yeah. Like it, and, and five feet long. This is a short box and it fits perfectly in the short box of a Dodge. It's crazy. 
but just hear me say what that's I said. That's what she said. That's perfect. Hey, Frank, if you had if you had uh, actual working uh, RC uh, fire engines, you could burn it and then put it out. I don't want to burn it. You know, I'm a No, you know what I mean. I was that. just saying, if you were, they were talking about burning. So that, just, you could do it if you had one of those things. <laughs> Crazy. No, this is the part that hurts me the most, I think, is losing my big barn. Well, I know where it is. So, anyways. It still lives on, Frank. Barn. Still lives I'll on. See you at all these. At least it lives on, Frank. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and like my wife said, I says, why don't you keep it here? I go, the only reason I would keep it here is just to take pictures of me, but I'd build it for other people to appreciate and take pictures with it and things like that. That's the reason I build it. Uh, and that means if I cannot have any more events here, the only people that are going to see it is me and my son or anybody that comes on my property. And you want to share it. Much, but I do want to share it. So that's why I'm, I'm bringing it to Craig's house and it's going to be at Craig's house. And if ever... I want it back. I can go get it. Like he said, anything you bring here, you can take it back. It's yours. You're just lending it to me, to his trail. So, which is good. So, yeah, it sucks in the long run. I mean, it sucks because she did that, but in the long run, it's probably be a lot better for you. Yeah. Because, you know, you're on government property now and stuff. Yeah. And I see that you have a lot of open land there. Just like uh, uh, when uh, John came and saw, showed me, he's there's a lot of open big properties in Battle Creek. Mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> i'm saying with that much property what type of rc mecca could you make i mean you could make everything known to run on for rc it'd be awesome be a mecca and and you and you could make money uh, off the uh, uh, hand over fist everybody from around the world would come because it's so large and has everything you could ever want mm -hmm. yeah so I was looking at that one fifth scale from um, let's go back to the subject where I wanted to talk about tonight. And I know some of you have uh, bigger scales, but it would be very interesting getting into this type of scale. Uh, this is more of a basher, the outcast. It's not like the five B or anything like this. I guess you could go higher and jump higher and do more tricks with this than you would with the five B. That's for sure. And it's a beast, yeah. anyways. It's large. It, it's large and in charge, as you could say. Uh, yeah, it does quite easy. yeah. And it'll really. flip itself in wheelies and land on its wheels. Yeah. And, and uh, it's a monster. And it, it, it'll it'll do fifty miles an hour. I right hear. What do you run? Two six S. Yeah. It's two four S on this one. It's it's a, four, yeah. uh, this one is basically a roller, so you can put yeah. any electronics on it. Yeah. But they don't recommend going any higher than eight uh, S, but I know people will. But oh yeah, yeah, I've seen people just start doing uh, twelve S stuff. I was watching Innovations; they had some major beasts, even the infraction. It we had uh, they were running twelve S in the machines. They do have a very nice video. Some people wants to go see it. Go see it. I'm not going to show it so we don't get into a violation. Um, but it's kind of cool the way they got the don't bash and it does a wheelie, and you see it in the video very good. So that's really and, interesting and the laser etching which everybody loves yeah um the regular outcast does it have um a different it must have a different bottom than the exb the exb must be thicker anybody know i don't know what's that i'm sorry i was away from the thing if the regular outcast uh, 5S, uh, 8S, I mean, or I got to look. I think the 8S only comes in the XP. I don't think it comes in regular. That I'm not sure. But man, is it ever a nice, um, when you look at how they've done it and what they've done with this truck, it's, it's really interesting and all the different options they give you. Uh, Paint job looks awesome on it. They got the matte finish on it and the glossy, which the glossy, really cool. it, it, glossy tire images. Mm -hmm. And Joe says the EXP chassis is thicker. Yeah. Ah, so more people are going to want to buy it, so it's less prone to bend. Roof protection, it still, uh, still, still bends, but yeah. Oh yeah, it it'll, 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 how much, it, how much uh, thicker is it? A, a millimeter, two millimeters. 
I'm not sure. Uh, no. Is it Arma or Traxxas that came first with the roof uh, protection? Anybody know? That would be a good I, trivia. I would bet Arma. I believe it's Arma. Yeah, I would think so. Well, so the first the first vehicle I think they had it was the Max, wasn't it? And that was what year and a half now that's been out. Yeah, you, yeah, but I think some of the Arma stuff actually had it before that. Yeah, yeah they, uh, did. That's, that's that's what I'm saying. I know Traxxas did it about what a year and a half ago or something like that. Yeah, with the Arma. Yeah, I thought Arma they had I think it. Was the first one? I thought the uh, X Max had it. Yeah, but that was after the Max or before the Max. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here. <laughs> now <laughs> you're here in spirit. <laughs> this is what's interesting with the uh, the kit version. They give you two different motor mounts with the kit, which is to me is is brilliant because you don't know if they're going to be putting a very big motor or a normal motor on it. So they give you the options um, for the yeah, kit. Don't motor. recommend above 8S, but you can put a suit kitchen size fucking yeah. Can yeah. In there. Well, yeah, look at a 56 series. So it's got to be thicker, more uh, sturdy uh, aluminum. Oh, the can is way bigger, way longer on the 56 series. Yeah. So we're ta we're talking uh, we're talking bigger than a Coke can. Oh yeah. We're about the same size, yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so it'll be a low KV motor, no more than a thousand. No, it's uh, probably probably about fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred, yeah. two thousand somewhere in there. What's that, Lyle? Twenty two. Twenty two. <laughs> yeah. A twenty two hundred KV. Yeah, and there's a speed pinion or speed. The, the, that's spur. weird, eh? Uh, how the bigger the motor goes, the lower the KVs are, the faster it is. It, it's kind of yeah. weird how it works. Look at teeth on the pinion. Yeah, yeah. They're not mod one. So they they do include the 47 and 39 uh, T uh, spur oh, those are on the kit. I thought they people were gonna, the pinion. Sorry. Yeah, They're this gonna is be a spur. They're going to be putting a 39T with a, a Coke can size motor and a almost as big pinion. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. <laughs> and they they actually also give you two server mount included because you can actually put two different type of servos, uh, oh, a nice. one fifth and a one six scale servo. One fifth is best for that vehicle. Yeah, That's the thing you saw like the palm of your hand. Yeah, but some people like to go overkill, so that I don't. I, I see a lot of people putting one six just just to be safe. What mm -hmm. one fifth one fifth oh. scale ones are about the size of the palm of your hand. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Joe is saying you need the fifty six series motor to run good. Eight hundred kV to eleven hundred kV is the normal. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks for the info. And I'll still get up to fifty miles an hour that way. Mm -hmm. Hello, Kagan. Uh, Ma magnified says i can see a lot of fingers okay, getting injured oh yeah not just fingers ankles or breaking <laughs> broken tibias <laughs> uh, I was, I was gonna... says, uh, sorry go ahead no was, that's what i was gonna say a lot of broken uh leg bones and shin bones and yeah tibias is and fibias. Tib tibia is the is the shin bone Joe says, uh, I have the red Outcast 8S and the K8 and K8 EXB. Cool. The yeah. Creighton. Cool. The Creighton is the one I'd really like to have, but this one uh, really piques my curiosity, this big one. But man, is it massive. Just, uh, I was looking at the price of the batteries, just getting two 4S batteries for this. Like, wow, oh. what a price. Oh, yeah. And basically, you and you're talking just, close to 300 with that in the charger. Yeah, and you can't just buy two batteries. You need four batteries, because yeah. or even six batteries. Oh because, no, without a doubt. Yeah, because you go, you go have fun. You're gonna play for 10, 15 minutes. Your batteries are dead if you bash hard, and then you, you want to bash more, oh, so yeah, you get to switch the batteries. Oh, the shafts are much bigger on this one. Like, there's a lot of info on this. Uh, the shaft size is much bigger than originally, which That's is. Much there it is. Uh, oh, wow. You can really see a big difference. Yeah, six millimeter compared to about what four or so maybe. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah. Oh, here it says here. Um, hey. Length. Yeah, four. No, that's for the. That's for the new one. 
Yeah. Oh, the new one has the newer one has a less scrunched uh, area at the bottom as the existing one. Yeah, it's probably the front and rear are different uh, different lengths. Yeah. But the More shaft likely. size and, and look at the boot on the bottom also like yeah. it's yeah, the same size here. Easier. It's like it's thicker. It's like thicker on the on the bottom. Oh, this thing is heavy. This thing is massive. It, it has to be beefy. What's it say on the little uh, things? How heavy the thing is? It's got to give you the amount of weight it is. Yes, it does. In the bottom, when it gets it gets to the spec, it's going to tell us. Uh, but right now, I don't know. Uh, beefier steering links, which is six millimeter, uh, seven millimeter now, so that's way better. Hey, Kagan, welcome in. Kagan, welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Uh. Girthy rear suspension links, girthy. Yeah, this one has a little bit different. And they are eight millimeter, which is better. And here you can see the, the, the old one oh, wow. and the new one. Yeah. Slight difference. Wow. Everything is bigger by two millimeters if they average, it seems. And mm -hmm. look at the way they got the rod in, in there. The, um, the balls actually got it. Piece on there, they'll thread onto a shaft. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's got a big is, ball and a red rod end with a shaft. Yeah, I, I, I look, I, I, it looks like this thing's going to take much more punishment. <laughs> hey, Marcel off axis, how are you doing? Sway bars are included. The sway bars are included in the uh, kit version. I bet you, I bet you that those sway bars are what. Uh, more than five millimeters. It says three millimeter right on there. Yeah, You're wrong, Brad. Four and five You're wrong, Brad. Option. What are we betting, Brad? Uh, three, three millimeter. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Bill came in. He's batting has, three and not betting 100 right now. Yeah, it has four and five as an option. It's because it's not the T word. Yeah. Uh, it's got rear sway bars, Brad. I have this an arm thick... odd, don't forget. Yeah, it's got rear sway bars, Brad. How thick do you think these are? I, I think they're the same. <laughs> I would think so too. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, no, sway they're bar, good. four. No, they're, I guess there's different sway bars. You can get that. three millimeter, four millimeter, and five millimeter. And you could oh. probably swap them for both end, either end, couldn't you? You could have one thinner, yeah. one heavier, and bigger in the other end, or both the same. No, they're all different stiffnesses. Yeah. 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 But I guess the one that comes with it is a three millimeter, but you can actually buy a sway bar set. No, they're they're included. Sway bar links are included, but the three millimeter are installed from the factory. Okay, gotcha. so oh, yeah, factory fitted three millimeter. So you get the three, four, and five. Cool. Yep. What 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 would the difference in handling happen with the for, with, with from three to four and five? Well, stiffer, it's stiffer, stiffer. stiffer. Less stiffer. Okay, so that means it would be less leaning when it turns. That is correct. Yep. Yep. You, you need more, more aggressive, power. but you got to be careful because that means it's going to straighten you up faster, or it's going to get more bounce. Yeah, but 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 it also makes it have a uh, longer uh, running uh, uh, full patch from the tires. Mm -hmm. So the this is the geometry of how stiff they're trying to make it. So when you jump and when you take a, a beating, uh, all this is going to help it stay better and stay straight. So, that's so this seems like this will be the strongest vehicle they ever made. Well, there's a couple of them that are like that now. And you oh, got to yeah. think this is, this is massive. This is almost uh, 30 inches long. Like it's, it's wide and, and wide and long. It's almost a square box. There's so many. That's what she said. Jokes in here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it, Sean. <laughs> There's a brace for impact. What do you mean for impact? What are you going to hit with that thing? Yeah, right. That's what she said. Brace for impact. <laughs> yeah, How many barbarians come in? If <laughs> all of them. Yeah. If, you, if you had to replace one eventually, you know you should know how many you get. You buy the kit from Jim's bearings or one of the others that you want to use, and you don't worry about it because they're all in there. Yep. Rear lower chassis brace. This do they have, have a different braces? Do they have a difference in thickness stuff for a shaft that comes in the kit? Don't think so. And that's what she said. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like how they've done it that you can release the center diff and you can actually take these bars off without using any tools. So when you're out there on the trails or bashing, not on the trails, but in the field, you can do a lot of maintenance on this very quickly. So that's very yeah. interesting. It, it looks like they added more metal for the internal uh, uh, bulkhead, oh, the bulkhead. Yeah. A M M R C. How are you doing? Yeah. CK Hobby Shop. Brace it all you want. You hit a tree or curve at 50 or 60, it's done. Uh, hey, yeah. CK. The the arm glad to join us. Something. Something's going to bend. Hey, if, that, if you want, Frank will send you an invite and you can get into the Zoom part if you'd like. Yeah, send me an email. I can uh, uh, send me an email at thetankrc at gmail.com and I can uh, send you a link. Hey, Brad, there's 26 bearings in it. Oh, not as many as I would have expected. Yeah, I would have thought there would have been more. Uh, yep. There's more than that. There's more than 26 bearings in my Cloudbuster. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yeah. But man, this this is this is goes to the death. Yeah, Wow. Dry shaft oh, is freaking cool. It looks like the, uh, uh, I bet, uh, does it come with the thickest drive shaft they've ever put in one of those? I don't think Probably so. Probably with the thicker drive shaft. And another one. It's, it's not the thickness <laughs> that counts. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Holy fuck, boys. <laughs> Battery length that can be lengthened. This is the part I find very interesting. They have steel reinforced front and rear bulkheads. So right here in the yes, front, in there, you, you put the ball bearing in there, and it's still shrouded with more protection. Right. Is your microphone turned away up a million or something? Who are you talking oh, to? I used to lean into. It looks like you. a bond. You, Brad, because it sounds. I, 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 the, 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 I, you have no control over the mic. Yeah, because what happens is Brad, if he wants to see the picture, he has to come very close to his phone, and but then I'm when he talks, he's still there, buddy. He does not have a PC or a computer, so he's doing this all from his phone. Oh, everybody! Should, okay. Everybody! Yeah. Everybody should know this by now. <laughs> no, but it, it just sounds, it sounds like you're yelling when you get that close. Ah, uh, well, I don't mean to up disturb you, Sean. No, well, it's you're not, not just disturbing Sean; you're disturbing everybody. It's it's not, not not meaning to disturb out. everybody. Okay. I'm surprised when you talk. Yeah, it's it's just you surprise everybody because you're boom fat. Anyways. This is very interesting. A, the steel that they have in there molded with that plastic. It's it's just to me it's brilliant. Well, especially for that size. Uh I'd wish oh, yeah. to do that sometime it's, with one tenth. It's like a piston sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, is it molded or pressed in? I wonder. I don't know. I think it's molded it's probably, with it. it yeah. The way that I see the enhancements on this kit, I have a feel I with the enhancements of this kit, I'd say this thing's gonna be two times stronger than anything they have out right now. Because when you look at this bulkhead here, it you got the um, the plastic metal, and it looks like a little bit more plastic at the back. So I think it's molded in the plastic and not pressure fitted. I, I call that strategically putting metal where you need to have it. Yeah, no. it's just what they Love done. With, it's just what they done with the EXBL or whatever you call that. Isn't it? Yeah, the same same stuff. They with all these startup companies. Build so what's this thing run on like? Like 6S or something? This 8S. is supposed to be done 8S. for 8S. 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 Yeah. Oh, come okay. yeah, yeah, steel will help, sure. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in, uh, Bill. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good. How are you? So so oh, what pretty, you see in those enhancements, <laughs> what we see in those enhancements, it looks like the thing is going to be about two times stronger than anything they've produced for their vehicles. Well, it's their X e e X B uh, or E um, E X B. Yeah, yeah but it seems stronger than bashing. That. It's extreme bashing. It's made it's really strong for bashing. So, but I I, I have a feeling uh, it's the strongest of all their EXPs is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. The way they've done all these new things to them. Probably. And you get stunt tri stunt tires. This this is very weird because it says you get the stunt t uh, stock tires. But when you go to the uh, this site, the website, to buy the, the truck, which is six ninety nine US, uh, just the roller, it it gives you option for tires. 
And they're, what the heck? Why would it give you option for tires if it comes with tires? I guess if you want a spare, I guess. I don't you, know. Want, you want something to change your spares maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or you want to drive in an area that needs a little more traction somewhere? But I, I know some kits uh, that they sell sometimes, they don't even have tires. So there, I was yeah. confused there. I go, okay, does it come with tires or doesn't it come with tires? But it actually does come with tires. They're probably also giving you an idea of to <clears throat> want a strong uh, a tire that will get better traction in certain circumstances that you need it. So Arma uh, one fifth parts are available for the Creighton and Outcat BLX. When I've seen the, the fifth scale Creighton uh, jump, it's pretty uh, pretty flat the way it jumps. It front jumps quite well. Mm -hmm. so there's a sway bar. You got three, four, and five millimeter. Wow! Look at how much difference it looks from one to one, one to the other. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's one millimeter difference between all of them, yep. Brad. And you can, <laughs> and it's amazing how how more you can tell the difference from one millimeter. Yep. That's what she said. Now, Joe, what are you saying? <laughs> they could have upgraded those tires to the new ones. I think those are the original ADS Outcast tires. Yeah, so that's probably what they're they're trying. This is probably the original, and this is probably what they're saying here is that this is the Copperhead Two uh, monster truck tires, or this is yeah the Copperhead Two. So these are probably the newer newer tires, which are probably better. Right. I wonder if these are the belted ones. Could be a belted one as a choice in there. That's what I just said. So there again, you see the. Uh, the links and how big they are. So that's kind of cool. The, t the plastics look thicker too. Yeah. The machined parts looks very good and nice and red. Uh, shock collars, pivot balls, lots of cool stuff. Details. Let's see how big that is. Brad wants to know how big it is. There you go, Brad. Uh, the length is 28. And there was a pound. How how does this weigh? This have no electronic, but the weight the weight should be there somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'd be further down there. There's the height. Oh, here it is. Twenty three pounds. Like ten pounds lighter than the Creighton, I think. That's twenty. Yeah. That's a roller. No, it's one pound. It's a one pound lighter. Oh, yeah. But after, no. but after, but its starting weight might be higher with nothing in it. So it's going to yeah. be more than, it's going to be like 25, 27. No, I think it's going to be closer to 30 pounds because of the, the other stuff. Put it in. Yeah. The batteries, the batteries and the, uh, the electronics are protecting what type of uh, motor you put in, in electronics. Yeah, It'll bring it close to 30. It'll bring it close to 30. Mm -hmm. It'll be heavier than a Creighton. So see the battery yeah. recommendation are 100 C, 5,000 milliamp. Wow. Not a shorter chassis than the Creighton. It shouldn't be heavier. No, but uh, with all the enhancements they've done to it, it's already at 23 pounds empty. So you put the motor in there, you're going to be getting more weight than I think the Creighton. I think it has a size. If you empty the Creighton, I bet you its weight is less than 24 pounds, less than 23 pounds. So it could be technically heavier, this car. That's a pretty, pretty impressive size. It's kind, of, it's kind of cool, and it would be a fun basher. But I looked at the price here for the ready to run kit. It Canadian, it's like twelve hundred dollars for for me to go get this kit ready to run. And I and, and with the electronics with this one, you're going to go higher than that. Yeah. You just said kit ready to run. Kit though, twelve hundred. Oh, sorry. The ready to run truck in Canada is twelve hundred bucks. Damn. For this, the one fifth size. Uh, and with with the EXB in the US dollars, I bet you with uh, stuff you need to, to electronics, I bet you it's over a thousand. If you're counting batteries and stuff too, yeah, for sure. Batteries, electronics, speed controller. Oh, uh, you require well, ESC motor. Can well, that's and probably servo. comparable to X Max, wouldn't it? Yep. I yeah, pretty cool. I bet you would be higher than the X Max if you get with, with the right electronics. Sure, sure. And you know that people are going to put the top line you get, you get like, or something. There's, there's a good chance that people are going to put the biggest, uh, uh, the most expensive electronics in it. We're not going to go through the manual. Yeah. 
So it's a pretty interesting truck, uh, but pretty expensive too. <laughs> it's it's not for everybody. Yeah. Uh, no kidding. I was looking at all my trucks. Like, okay, which one could I sell? I mean, uh, how many someone. could you sell? Yeah. <laughs> We're like, how many could I sell? You, huh. you, what you need to, you know, the, the way to do that, Frank, is you look up what the average of each of your cards sells for. Whatever sells the highest in resale value, you, you get rid of those, and then you, there's, there's where you get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I don't want to sell them. I know, I know. I'm just saying, but that's how you'd have to do it if you wanted to. You'd want to see how much each of the vehicles go for. Maybe, maybe I can sell my semi truck. I haven't finished that one, right, Sean? Oh, that would upset, <laughs> that, that would upset <laughs> Brett. <laughs> I just went and weighed the King Hauler. That's about seven pounds. Oh, yeah. So that's enough for me to carry around. No way I want to mess with 30 pounds. Yeah. 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 See, that see you later, be. Kevin. See you later, Kevin. See you, Kevin. Later, Kevin. Later, Kevin. Have a good one. Later, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. I see G'day, G'day, Jack came in there somewhere too. Yes, he did. G'day, Jack. You know he'll be in. He's hiding in there somewhere. Jack's in there somewhere? Yeah, he's yeah. in the chat. I was busy talking. I didn't see him come in. Hey, yeah. Jack, how are you doing? Yeah. I, do like the, I do like the pressed materials in the plastic to protect the ball bearings. That's like cool. That's I do. I do I like think that'll that. also give them more resilience to particles too. Okay, uh, Bill, uh, your 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 internet seems to be better tonight. Uh, last week or the week before, it wasn't too good. Yeah, it's um, the beginning of the month, so we got high <laughs> speed right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the haven't chewed it up yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely makes a difference. Yeah, because you're coming in strong, clear, clear as a bell. So Bill has been working on his uh, Ford pickup truck. It's been uh, going pretty good. Yeah, do you want to change his name to Swampers RC? Kind of, yeah. Could do that. Change it to Swampers. I'm just trying to hide everybody. No, just because <laughs> Bill probably just would prefer it. it's Swampers RC. You know, so, uh, giving you a hard time. <laughs> People could find his channel and see how do I do There we go. Swampers RC. Yeah, magnified he is. He said he thinks Jack might be in a lockdown again, and that's what Jack said the other day. Yeah, he said they were heading into a lockdown, yeah. I know he showed up at the Big Heads last night. So. Yes, he did. I found it funny that uh, he actually went in when you were there, Brad. Why? Well, I don't know. He always tells you to shut up. So I found it he funny. He told me that... to shut up once that night, but it was pretty good between us. He did us. tell you to shut up also? Okay. Once. <laughs> once. Once. I think he should work to Big Head because Big Head shows. Everybody get work one? Work that is. Over his channel and stuff. Yeah, it, it, it just happened once. But he, we were both well, good for good for a while together. So he, the so he can't complain that much. was kept. The status quo was no, kept. actually, the status quo was point. lessened. Actually, the status quo was a little less because he didn't tell me several times. It was one time, so it was a big difference. Well, so far, we haven't told you to shut up. We just told you to calm down. Like, yeah. don't talk as loud. So it's not bad. So you're doing we good. Can, though, if you want. <laughs> well, we can. Well, only you would want to do that, Brett. But... <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, Sean, you uh, you have in the past, but you're not uh, on a regular basis type situation. I mean, I'm not on a regular basis. You don't uh, do it more. Uh, you don't do it as much as uh, Brett or Jack. Hey, what? If anybody hey. wants a shout out, you just have to type in one word "shout out" <laughs> and they will give you a shout out in the chat, so people can follow your link and go sub to you. Nightbot's back again, yeah. Yeah, Nightbot's there. <laughs> He's doing his job. I only said sure. shut up twice, Brad. Otherwise, it's just hush, calm down, settle, something like that. I can always hit, hit me. Uh, oh, baby. oh, my God. Uh-oh. Lyle's getting comfy. The, the, bears, the beer is setting in. <laughs> oh, my back is killing me. I, I hope you're drinking the Canadian beer and not that American piss water. Shrill. <laughs> <laughs> this water. <laughs> some good, some good Texas freaking 
Like, we get Keystone here. The Lone Star, yeah. We get yeah, Keystone here. Mm-hmm. We, get, we get Keystone here. Bruton, oh. Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver, okay. What's I the alcohol beer. percentage on that one? 4.2, I think. That's pretty 4.0. low. 4.0. 4.0. That's low. It's a four yeah. liter. But it's a light. <laughs> it's a light one. Yeah, I drink water. So I drink light beer. Okay. Oh, hey, radioactive. You, you, uh, you, you're from Canada too, right? Swampers. How much percentage of alcohol is in that one, Swampers? Eight percent. Eight. Oh, he's double. Um. So, 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 uh, what? I, I didn't hear what you said. The radioactive. You're not in Canada. Or yeah, you are. Yeah, six hours north of Lyle. Wow. Oh, yeah. Robert Ivanov's taking off. Later, Robert. Have a good night. Still winter up there. See you later. Uh, magnified. So wait a second. Uh, he's telling Robert bye. Oh, so so you so if you're sick, if you're that much higher, are you in the same uh, Providence? Same Providence, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So he's in the mountain. He's a big Robert. time in the mountains. Then you're big time in the mountains. No, he he's closer no. than I am. Oh, I'm, I, I'm on the east side, right on the border for Saskatchewan, basically. Oh, I think really? okay, an hour away from the mountains. So you did, did? Did you live where? Did you live close to where Aaron used to live? No, nope. Aaron was closer to Lyle. Okay, but I know that he lived at the, like the last bit of the plains, and if you go further north, you're in the mountains from where Aaron was. Further west, right, Lyle? Yeah, west. West. Northwest wasn't it north more well, north, northwest to get he, it, to he, get to the mountains from him. Lyle would know better than I would. He's been there. He's a I, truck driver. He's a truck driver too, so he would know that. He's uh he used to live about ten minutes down the down south of the Calgary from me, and now he lives about forty minutes to the west of me. But the mountains are sorry to the east of me, and the mountains are about one hour west of me. Okay, but he was he, as far as I know, it wasn't that far of a ride for him to travel to the mountains. Oh, an hour and forty. Okay, because that makes him near the steps where you would start getting into higher ele- elevations. Yep. When things start to go up, they call them steps. Dad, you're what well, person? you're like an encyclopedia <laughs> of useless knowledge. Sure. We call those the foothills. <laughs> Come on, Sean. The so my buddy drove his Komodo, uh, Sean, and uh, he kind of liked it. He said, yeah, it's, it's cool. It went pretty good. And it's a, it's in my opinion, it's the most underrated rig on the market. It seems yeah. to be okay. Uh, it seemed to be a little bit of an, on the light side to me, but uh, it, it performed okay. Yeah. The RC Scotsman. I, I, I always get the kits, not the ready to run. Okay. RC Scotsman says it's his favorite uh, crawler. He says it's a really great crawler. Okay. They are They're really good. There's yeah. nothing on the chassis that gets hung up. They're super stuck. Super tough. There's no spur gear to deal with. <clears throat> the, the only the only disadvantage is getting parts. <clears throat> the only thing. I I get parts no problem for them. Oh, me either. I just have to rebuild the transmission about once every twenty runs. Other than that, the discs are still talking. Twenty mm. runs? I can't believe you'd have to actually train uh, change it after fix it every twenty runs. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. Mud and water every day. Uh, I've seen I how that was the only way to go is mud and water. <laughs> but that's Lyle, hard on everything, except for yeah. the beer. <laughs> two or three hours, two or three hours of run every time. So that's like 20 hours, 30 hours of run time and of mud and water on three cell brushless. So it's sort of like what you do with a drag racer. You got to kind of fix it every run. You got to look over it. <laughs> everything. But the only thing I don't fix every 20 runs is tracks and stuff. Tracks and stuff, it's like every two years. Yeah. The gearing on it seems much. to be okay. Uh, he's got a 27 turn in there. I found it kind of fast, which is nice. Fast is nice, but he <laughs> wants it slower. So he might put a, he was even mentioning putting a 55 turn in there. So I told him just put a 35 in there for now. Like don't go 55. It's going to be way too slow. I, uh, I've got an interesting thing to say that I just found out. What? Uh, well, people are going to be upset that I mentioned this, but uh, it might actually be a decent crawler motor if you wanted to use it that way. But it was quicker than a regular silver can. Oh, um, 
Here we go. Here we go. But it actually, it actually, it, listen, it actually, it actually has more. It has like over five hundred uh, cubic meter, or cubic whatever they do with the way the torque is on it, than my GT tuned. So it's got a higher torque. Tell me to run out and buy a Tamiya motor to put in my fucking crawlers. You open crack or what? <laughs> well, this is called the lightly tuned 28 turn. That's why I said that. Well, too fat. <laughs> well, in my CX10 and in my, in my trail finder, I run a 65 turn on 3S. Okay. Yeah, I run the 20, I run the 20 turn five slot. Yeah, yeah, but Swampers, you're you're getting older, so of course you're gonna want a 65 turn. You got to catch up to the car. <laughs> age jokes. He's got age jokes. Well, it can still it can still go faster than me. Actually, the oh, trail no, no, finder, just... I, I dropped it down to a, a, a ten tooth pinion. Okay. With the with the stock single speed. Okay. But like, but as I hear, it's all all about gearing. You can always slow it yeah, up. Yeah, you can me. gear it differently. That's for sure. Can do that with any motor you could lower it down there with just gearing well just like on my toy hauler i think i got an 80 turn in there and i i had to gear it gear it down or gearing up or whatever to make it go faster because it was way too slow at the beginning yeah i i, I swear that they have 33 turn it or 35 turn it up with their motors now hmm. uh, hey jake jake's in the chat how are you matter doing fact, that, uh, that uh f350 i just built is uh is using the r4 transmission okay but it's only two wheel drives so there's no transport case and i'm running an 80 turn okay and on 2s it's still faster than my trail finder hmm. okay. my, my go-to motor and i is that uh nitro hobbies the 20 turn five slot that thing is good i buy things from them believe it or not i think i just bought something from them recently the creepy crawler motor. Well, one thing I told I told Stranger, that's what his name is uh, in Inuit. It's kind of a weird name, but he says it translates to Stranger. That's what his name is. Uh, <laughs> I told him, why don't you put the GS02? Actually, you can buy a upgrade two-speed transmission for it. Yeah. So I said, why don't you put that in? You'll you'll have your low range and you'll have your high range. To me, that's the perfect fit. So he might do that, or he might just change it to a slower motor. So we'll Does he live in Ontario with you? Yeah, he lives pretty close to here. Yeah. Oh, I thought he'd be further north. No. Yeah, I used to run all my motor. All my... Twenty-four hours north of where he is, and still be in Ontario. Yeah. True, I, I, but what I'm talking about really into the Arctic areas of Canada. <laughs> All my trucks I used to run. Driving. Yeah, I used to run nothing but taking thirty turn hammer and pro motors, and now that nitro hobbies are five slot. So I, I'd like to know uh, who who here has uh, uh, Holmes motors. I have I got two Holmes. I don't use them anymore. I didn't like. I didn't like them. I didn't. I tried them. They have to stay clean and dry. You're driving dirt, water, mud, mist. Fuck! If it rained an hour ago, don't take it outside. It'll be dead in 10 minutes. Is that what happened to mine? I ran it through some mud and it just stopped. Yeah. Uh -oh. They can't handle it. They need to be clean and dry. They need to be in a comp crawler in somebody's garage. That's it. Which uh, motor is that? Which motor is that? Any, any home hobby brush motor. Okay. That's uh, hard to believe. I, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten complaints because of that. Oh, he does all the time. They, they can't, I bought two. They both came with warning. Do not run in water. Do not run in mud. What a, where do I go? Yeah. <laughs> what's the then? What's the use of I'm a? I'm gonna wait until mine my... burn out and then get some more. I guess. It, mm -hmm. It's like, like I'm like think, thinking, what's the use of the, your crawler motor if it can't take that type of abuse? Because that's yeah, what my, you guys run in. My two go tos are uh, axial 35 turn and tracks is 21 turn. Have you tried the HPI ones? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Uh, the HPIs are pretty good. That's the one, the I, cheapest one I find around here, and they, they work okay. I heard oh, the Fireball's a real good motor. Durability and no squeal. I, I heard the Fireball's a good motor. Back in two minutes. Okay. Um, I've got the Hack Moto, the R Racing Hack um, Moto. Can you get more holes in that shirt, John? You <laughs> <laughs> muted, John. <laughs> 
Oh, why did that? It's holy. Totally, what can I say? Uh, that's it. You're freaking. Everything there. You're, there's more holes in it than anything. Air conditioned. Yeah. <laughs> so. So I hear the fireball motor is actually coming back. They're actually one of the few companies that will re is revisiting their uh, classic motor, oh, yeah. vintage motor. Right. Yeah, the, the fireball. I think is radioactive <laughs> uh, scale RC. Which motor you said you use or you like? Hack motor. Oh, uh, Hack motor. Y'all racing? I've heard of them. The Hack motor. I just yeah, got a thirty-five, fifty-five, and a forty-five from Great Hobbies and. I've run the 35 in my D90 RC four drive, and is it ever quiet and strong? Oh, yeah. yeah, really good motor so far. Are those rebuildable? Yeah, rebuildable and 23 bucks Canadian. Okay. And yeah, how many yeah. of you actually rebuild their motor once they blow or if something happens? How many of you? I do. I've got, I've got brushes for those motors. Yeah, I do. I, too. I've done it. I used to rebuild them. Neither, neither got so cheap. It's just as quick to... Yeah, you. Yeah, well, you're made of money. Yeah. You know, yeah, racing has some uh, quality, uh, reasonably priced stuff. I enjoy build, rebuilding them. It's something fun to do for me. What, well, getting a new armature and brushes? Yeah, but yeah. No, it's like twenty dollars to buy a new one. Like, you Just know. took this. Yeah, but when I've already got a box full of parts, why do I need to go buy them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For as two sets as, of brushes and an armature, I paid eleven dollars for these hack motos. Because now, yeah, I, black, because now I just don't have the time to build them anymore. That's half the problem. Find the time. Yeah, too many projects on the go. As long as long yeah. as the problem too. As long as the motor can still has uh, magnetic power, then you're fine. It'll take four hundred years for those magnets to die. Yeah. yeah. Unless you actually make it overheat and. It dies. Yeah, unless you crack yeah, it or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Magnified RC says, LOL, Hack Motor, a.k.a. Yaw Racing, comes out of the factory that makes a lot of those clone 35-turn motors. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, <laughs> so I got a question. Is, is like all the 27-turn motors about the same speed? No. 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 There's not there are. If you buy anything that runs dual motors or like dual tracks, like a Blizzard, I got a dual 54 cans on my Blizzard. Try and find two motors that run the same speed. What? No, ain't gonna happen. You can you can fix it easier with pinion pinion chain. You buy three different motors, kill all three of them in a weekend of like 10 hours of crawling, and you'll have a different response from every every motor. Where's your motor? Or all because the machine wound. They see how many wounds there are, but they're machine wound. The only time you can depend on a motor being the same every time is if they're hand wound. Yep. Then you're yep. paying the point, and then you have to keep them clean. But fuck that. I know, yeah. So yeah. I'm waiting for my other home's hobbies to go out because I run into mud so much. See you later, CK yeah. Hobby Shop. See you later. That was the that was the issue with uh, taking the Hamline Pros that I used to run all the time. They yeah, got, they got so expensive though. So it's like no, nah, it's like eighty five bucks for one. It's like crazy. You're not good in the water, Sean. So that no, was they your are the, the Hamline Pro ones are good in the water Just too. The price, it's, yeah. The price them now, it's like crazy. If they're no better than what you're using, why bother? Yeah. This mm -hmm. RC four wheel drive I got it ran in the water pretty good. Yeah, the F2 know. is good to go in the water. I've heard of good things about RC4 wheel drive. They're cheap at a lot of stores. Yeah, it was it was only like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that, maybe at yep. the hobby shop. Yep. Yeah, they're about 12 or 13 bucks in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 35 turn. Magnified says 27 turn are all different. If you want the same RPM, you need to get matched motor. Yeah. yeah, there is places that you can actually buy, or factories or motors that you can actually buy. They called match motor, which pretty are the same. Yeah. There we go, perfect. Yeah, I never thought about that about a tank, man. You have to have dual motors. That yeah. would go. There's, one. My, there's, there's my styrene battery box. Not there you go. Tiny. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. Not good. Now it'll just be time to get some diamond plate friggin'. To the top, paint it. 
Yeah, make it look and then father is just by then. Nice. That's nice. Perfect. It almost looks like you know what you're doing. Uh, that's my first. <laughs> you mean the battery can come out of it too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never know you, Sean. I know, yeah, and it's half the bottle getting it back out. But battery out. Look. Nice. That's I easy. just put that armor motor in my tracks. It says hot motor on it. But AZ Froggy said that it's not the hot motor. It means your motor is hot. I'm like, oh, what the hell, man? Uh, <laughs> it says label. hot motor on it. I thought that's the name of the motor. Nope. Warning label. <laughs> yeah, that's a warning label. Don't get yeah. burned. <laughs> it melted my wires. They were so close. I put I had them next to each other. I smoked my wires, man. Oh yeah. Uh, out in that's the mud. Funny. Had to walk out there and get it. <laughs> That's funny. What kind of motor do you have? Oh, I have a hot motor. Hot motor? It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Guru's RC, thank you for saying that. Um, yeah. I don't know if you noticed the other day, Guru, I asked you where Here's you're from. Jack. Hey, Guru, I don't think I'm subscribed to you. Why don't you just put in one word, shout out? It's going to put your link there, and I can go to your uh, YouTube channel. Hey, hey Guru. We still have to talk about getting together with uh, you and icons, and you should ask Frank for an invite. You can come out to the video. Really? Just like that? That's right. He said that he was I tell everybody to always <laughs> ask Frank. Come to, come to the show, ask Frank for an invite, and you can be in the video. When Brad asked me, he said that he was out in Ohio. Remember, Brad? He, yeah. He, he, he lives live. in Ohio. Yeah. He I lives asked close the other to me. Day you, and you weren't in here, so, and I hadn't seen that before. Guru is up to 210. But it's moving, I think, too, pretty soon. I'm uh, Guru's 210th subscriber. Nice. Well, awesome. He's doing better than me. I'm at 206. Here's his channel. And Radioactive Scale also. He just put his link there. Go see it. Double check. Hey, Guru, you should join us. See you later, Bill uh, He's in Vegas. Yeah, Not right now he's me. no, he's in Vegas because of something with his child, his kids getting married. <coughs> he's not from Vegas. He's visiting Vegas. Oh yeah, or I got married in Vegas. Every time I went to Vegas, I was always looking for somebody that has RC that could meet me up in Vegas, and I'm there for a week sometime, and like there's nobody. Like I couldn't find anybody to come and play with. Friendly with hobbies. Hey. Friendly Hobbies. They got a track out front. They do drone stuff. Oh, they yeah. could have hooked you up with wherever you needed to go. They got two and locations. They, one in Vegas, yeah. one in Henderson. And, 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 and you know what? They also have a place called Fire Valley where they do uh, events. Well, I go to Fire Valley. I went there a couple times to visit, but I, not while there was events. There. So but it's my beautiful problem, there. Brad, is I, I go there for, for, uh, for trade shows. Crawling. For, oh. No, I go there for oh. trade shows. He's working. Okay, my, I'm working. Oh, my father used to go to trade shows when he was alive. He used to do the same thing when he was because he was a, he was selling in computers and stuff. Hmm. <coughs> he was a representative for people, so he had to go to those trade shows like to SEMA and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, gurus, what's that supposed to mean with the laughing faces? What's that about friendly hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> That's they're not very friendly. Oh uh, no, they're real good guys. There, they'll actually I've actually ordered stuff from them that no one here. Oh, I know what I need more, Devin. Oh, yeah. So, yep. Scott, that works up there, is a real good guy. Hey, Guru, I told uh, uh, Icons to come and join us here. You should, still, you should tell them to join us. So, Radioactive, <laughs> is that an SCX-103? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's my Gladiator. With the portals? <clears throat> yeah. Just waiting on a body to paint her <clears throat> my actual Mojave. Okay. My one-to-one -one Gladiator. Cool. Pretty much brand new. I haven't even taken it out yet. But the, for right now, for the way the camera looks on it, it looks like the top is dusty. The roof. <laughs> um, he's laughing because he was there yesterday. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> I wonder if you're going to get the tick, 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 tick that everybody has in theirs. It's in reverse on this one. I checked okay. it already. Yeah, it's only when I'm in reverse. Why do you think it does that? Have they figured that out yet? What it is? Well, the, they say it's it's a gear inside that uh, it's um, you have to flip it if it's where it's sitting. Anyways, it's not sitting right. 
But I think it's where the transmission is, is the two speed when it clicks. That's on. what I think it is. That, that spacer that's in there, right? Yeah, it, it has to be a certain way. And if it's not right on, then it's yeah. going to make it click, click, click. That's what I so, thought it would be too, because there's a spacer in there. Yeah. And until you want to use it, you got to pull that spacer out. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what I thought. Maybe it was that, that spacer causing an issue, not big enough or too big. Because everybody's telling me, he goes, oh, the only way to get rid of it is if you change the transmission to an SCX-102 transmission. I go, well, what the heck is the point? Like, yeah, exactly. It's got to it be something like one of two turn speeds. Okay, yeah. How come you can't you... comment on this video? Okay, couldn't you? How come you can't comment on what video? One we're watching right now. I tried to okay. earlier and I still can't now. Uh, while it's live, you cannot comment. You will be able to comment on, on it once it's... Um, once it's finished, like leave is, a is it possible? It. But there is a live well, chat. Weird. Well, I've uh, no, I've no, been no, on no, live no. chats with Medic a few numerous times, and yeah, there was a, a comment section going on yeah. at the same time. Oh, there's there's live are, right are you on, are you on your phone? Yeah. Are you on your phone, Lyle? No, uh, an old laptop. At the bottom, though, Lyle, there should be a thing. At the bottom of the screen, there should be a thing. It says chat. Because we're going through Zoom, so if you have oh, no, the, the chat is there, the comments are not. Like yeah, there the comments, comments or YouTube video. Oh, the YouTube comments are not coming up. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, nothing. Yeah. yeah, you might have to open that separately on your phone. Yeah, I'm right looking now, at it right now, but I can't see it. Oh, you're making it sound like work. I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right, you buddy. You open it on another page on your computer and have a split screen. Oh, what are you talking? Whoa, easy, easy. <laughs> too much, too much. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, even for me, I opened up a new screen and uh, you cannot put a comment under it. Under it. Yeah, it's weird because when I was uh, on Loading King's live live ones, it was uh, mm -hmm. it was there. And I'm looking at the setting right now uh, in YouTube Studio, and there's nowhere for me to actually enable it or not. It's odd. I'll look oh, at other settings. The, the Loading Kings ones were premieres, though. Yeah, no. it's set up different. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the premieres, you could do it. On the premieres, you could do the comments. But on the live, you couldn't do it. Green, green Frog, is that an RC shirt? put them up and have both. Then. I'll just... Yeah. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 radioactive. That washer you're talking about, could it be removed when it still work? Ah, get over here. Well, it's for your, oh. it's for uh, your second gear. So you have to remove that spacer to use that second gear engagement. So it, it holds the second, it's hold the second gear out of engagement, right? So, oh, so you can't, you can't remove it when, then with, without use, you, you wouldn't be able to remove it to without, you wouldn't be able to use the gear if you could, if you removed it is what you're telling me. You have to remove it to use the gear. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Yeah, transmission to get at it. Uh, with the dig servo inside, cause it has a dig function, but the two speed is, is disabled until you put another servo mm -hmm. or swap out your servo with your dig and don't use your dig. Hey, Lyle, I forgot how old you said that dog is. Uh, she's going to be 10 later this year. You could see the gray in his face. She got her sugar face. Her, her face. Is a girl. His face. He's got gray, too. Oh, yeah. her, her, her face. She has, uh, she has gray in your face, like just like you would do in your beard. Her, gear, her, 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 her uh, gray is just as gray as you. Yeah, she's just like her old man. <laughs> belly rubs and beer. She seems like she has a lot of energy for a 10-year-old dog. Yeah, there's no stopping her. <laughs> Put her on a treadmill. I can make electricity for my home. I can charge lipos. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you tell your dog, okay, time to charge some lipos. Okay, get on the treadmill. <laughs> 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 hey, Jack, welcome in. Oh, you just noticed me. I'm just a prop. Okay. I said, <laughs> hi, I said Jack. A, well, I said hi, Jack. I said hi earlier. Um, I'm just I didn't a know prop. you got in. I'll just sit here and I'll just sit here and listen to Brad. That's all. I'll just a prop. I didn't know your mic was working. There. Hey, Lyle, how are you doing, mate? <laughs> hey, how are you? How you doing, sir? Colonel, what's going on? Uh, are you on lockdown? <laughs> no, Colonel Sanders there, but they got the cap on today, mate, in disguise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's my good old mate up there, Bill, Boy, Bill Boynton there. 
that truck, Bill. That's a beast. Absolute beast, that truck, mate. Yeah. That's thank you, beast. thank you. That is a beast, mate. Yeah, you actually did a video and he takes the top off. You can see it runs on the yeah. RC four-wheel drive and so yeah. on. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, he did some slow motion, a bit of drifting. Yeah. Hey, hey, that. That, that was on 3S doing donuts on asphalt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet, man. Hey, Bill, do you, have a, do you have more than just this one car he's talking about? Oh, he yes. He builds them. Uh, he's been uh, he's been building for many years. He's been following yeah. us and chatting with us for yep, many years. That's ago. right. Yeah, that's a beast. That thing. As a matter of fact, I've I've sold probably uh, four times as many cars as I own right now. Mm -hmm. And how many do you own right now, anyway? Right now, uh, two, four, five, six. Oh, I can't believe I have more than you. That's why I'm debating. I'm debating if get a refreshing. More. <laughs> I technically have 10 cars, well, and I will assume we have more than that. With them anymore, they're not worth keeping. That's why I just so I sell them. You know? well, you, I have no shelf queens. I don't care what I have. It's going to be used. Yeah, same with me. It's just I'm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't sell some to refresh and buy some newer ones. So I'm just debating that right now. So. I am tempted to do something to some of my toy ones, like I put 3.7 volt uh, lithium ions in the five ones that take five double A's because those are size of five double A's and put three, mm -hmm. put over 20 volts to them, see how long they last and then put hobby grade stuff in them. <laughs> well, that, that big uh, one eighth, uh, one eighth mini Cooper there I was showing last week. Yeah. Uh, I fixed it. Uh, well, I fixed the door. Uh, and then I charged up the battery and I said, oh, I'll, I'll give it a try. So I take the remote, turn it on. It didn't work at the beginning, but all of a sudden, poof, everything started to work. Like the car as as it is, I, the only thing I did is put brand new batteries in it, and it works. It has three speed, that little thing. It's kind of cool. So I'm debating of upgrading it to a bigger motor or giving it to uh, to Sang. So maybe Sang would want to have it because he's got the same car at home. So uh, I wish, I'm surprised he's not here tonight. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, 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 I, I know back in the day, you wouldn't believe this, back in the 70s, I think, Nico had an RC car. I think it had six different gears. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you, but you'd had to manually change to each gear, and each one had a high and low of each of those gears. So it might even be more than that. Hmm. <laughs> and it looked like a little <laughs> stick shift on it. <laughs> ARC84 films in the chat. Hey, he, uploaded, he, Chris... he, he, he uploaded a video that uh, I think it was yesterday saying. Yeah. Is, is, yeah. is Chris going to join us? Yeah, he uploaded a video. Hmm. Cool. I hope Chris joins us in the yeah. video side. He might. He's got the invite, as far as I know. Hey, Sean. I forgot Sean was here. Good eye, Jack, brother. How are you doing? Good G'day, <laughs> g'day, mate. How's the Sheila's going, mate? Well, g'day, mate. <laughs> g'day, g'day, Bruce. How's, how's the Sheila's going? Uh, he does a really good Australian accent, says Sean. <laughs> so there's Jack. Jack does a pretty good Australian. He, he yeah. is Australian. Yeah. That's the reason <laughs> why. Ay, <laughs> ay, ay. Let's see how this night is going. Yeah, well, uh, you, know, you, 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 you know, I was told that uh, the everybody from that part of the world can do better accents than people who are in the United States in the movies. The, the people of Ireland and Scotland and England can do English accents better than we can, uh, English accents, American accents better than we can do theirs. I uh, yeah. I'm going to spot uh, that light kit on that thing. Uh, I'm sure sick, Bill's, uh, Bill's built. Here's his pickup truck. He's yeah, built. that's a boost, oh, that's man. Sweet. That's a boost. I don't that see it. A, I... That is a beast, man. Open oh. your ears, Brad. <laughs> I, I did, said I didn't see it. I didn't say yeah. I didn't hear it. Open your ears, Brad. Yep, that's, uh, yep. No, I had this file through everybody. No, that's a 3D printed body, and then uh, it's 3D printed uh, side Flutter. also. That was done by somebody yep. else. Swamper, that's the one you were doing uh, donuts yep. on yep. concrete? I mean, on tar. Yeah, that's the yeah. one with the Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the Timmy, um, what do you call it? The Timmy uh, wings and 
from the truck on it in it, Bill? Those look like extra speed or one of the other aftermarket ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's so hot he had to put it on uh, uh, to heat up his up in there whatever that is the heater he did what to what brand wood stove. <laughs> it looks like a some type of wood stove or something he had, it's so hot he had to put it on the wood stove it's a hot truck <laughs> Keeps his hot truck i was i was just being, i was being up i was trying to do a pun he needs a an armor hot motor for that hot truck oh, boy. <laughs> there we go well, it's fast enough with that 80 turn ghoul RC motor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hook, hook your trailer up to a bill, put a, put another tra a Jeep or something on the back. It looks sick, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, let me unhook this charger. I always like the looks of the single cab dualies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They look good. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, Does that have a light on top? That's the trail finder. Yep. It looks like it has some type of uh, 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 thing like to be on a cop car. Light bar. There you go. Hummer. I built this one about five years ago. Okay. Is that blue Hummer. car a uh, uh, 3D printed too? No, the blue one is RC four-wheel drive. Spot, oh, okay. Spotlighted use to everybody so people can uh, see. This this one is a new bright Hummer. Uh -huh. Cool. Got a couple of. He doesn't like Got a couple of Hummers in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's another new bright Hummer. Yep. Oh, but it's uh, it's built with all RC four wheel drive stuff. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then this bodies. one, That's this awesome. one started out as the same as that RGT that you were running in that video a couple of days ago, Jack. Yep, the Tundra. Yep, and um, all that's left of the original vehicle are the frame rails and a couple of links. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. The rest of it is all. Um, SCX 10 pop ups. Wow. What's the oh what's the frame on the red truck? Uh trail finder two trail finder long two. wheelbase. Long wheelbase, yeah. One of Sean's favorite vehicles. And the one behind it is a trail finder a trail finder two also, double cap. Yep, yeah, it's a long wheelbase too. So how did you make that into a dually? Uh, just bought some dually wheels. They're one point truck sevens, wheels. right? Or are those are those one point nines? They're one sevens. Yeah. One yeah one seven. They're awesome. Man. Semi yeah. truck wheels, and then uh, the fenders. The fenders come from a guy over in Spain. He three D prints them. Wow. Nobody in the and, states uh, can do that. They're uh, they were they were uh, printed to to meet up to the. Uh, RC four wheel drive blazer body. Mm -hmm. they, they were huge. Is it is the Spanish? Yeah, they look it, don't look like blazer body. Is fingers. a Spanish guy named Goncola? I I don't know his name. I found him on eBay. Okay, but uh, but I cut a lot off of those fenders to make them fit on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were saying they were for different trucks or something like that. Are you going to put any decals or anything on it, Bill? Um, no, I'm going to do something on there. I'm not excited yet. Um, hey, Chris joined. Hey, Chris. I still have to have to make the windows and stuff like that, so I'm sure there'll be a few stickers end up on the windows, but um, hey, I don't hey, know. Hey. I, I want to come up with a Swampers RC logo and put on the sides. Okay. Oh, and, yeah. and, and put an F-250 on the side? Or an F three fifty thing badge on it. Yeah, I want to need to order a sticker sheet uh, to my F three fifty sticker sheet. Okay. You should still be available, I think. Uh, a lot of stuff like that is actually ending up showing out of stock or discontinued. 
they're doing a big clean out right now. So I'd jump on the Smile USA site quick if that was you. Or get yourself a laser yeah. printer. Yeah, I looked them up today, and uh, the sticker sheet is is uh, out of stock, but still yeah. available. Yeah. 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 But like Lyle is saying, if you have a, uh, a printer, you can always print them on the laser printer. Get a laser or, but, buy sheets of different colors, make all your own stickers. Yeah, well, hopefully John will be doing that, right, John? <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Just go on the um go on the what you call it. Go on the Facebook and go on the, the Tamiya Legends um, Facebook page. They have a buy sell page. Just go on the Tamiya buy and sell page. Normally you can find uh -huh. it and they're looking for that. I don't know. I've been is. trying to get stuff off there myself, and no one's had what I want. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or they won't let it go, at least. Yeah. I need another transmission. A Mia transmission? Semi truck, Manny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if anybody wants one of those, Sean has one of those. <laughs> no, he's got one off of the um, top of high lifts. It's a different setup. Different. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have that stuff anymore. Who did you give it to? That. Who did you give it to? Um, we give it to some guy. Asked me for it all one day. So. Oh yeah. Uh, I knew you would never throw that stuff away. It's too valuable. He took, yeah, he took everything. He took the axles, the transmission. The, he took all the stuff. Yeah. He must have a vehicle that uh, that uh, that you transformed from that. Uh, he must be building it back up again or something. I don't know why he would waste his time. Because he likes it, like I would. Yeah. I'm waiting for a package from the States. Somebody sent me a package, and I still haven't received it. It's on its uh, way. That may I, be a good thing. And, and I've been waiting for some brushes that I never got. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, when did you send that package, uh, Brett? Daisy Froggy, when did you send the package? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> That's remember. what the smoke is. Oh, I started. Yeah, I um, end of last week, I think. Yeah, I think so. It should be getting here soon. It's yeah. I'm trying to remember where I put the receipt so I can look it up. No, it's okay. I'm no, it's bugging me. <laughs> I'm still waiting for those uh, stand-up brushes. <laughs> Postage is a nightmare, especially for coming from Australia. Australia to Canada takes forever to get here. Yeah, I should know that, shouldn't I? Yeah. Or, or, or going, or going from uh, Hong Kong to California and then sending it to me—that that took forever. Hey, Brad. Nice. Yeah. yeah. From, hey. Okay, look, Brad. Look what's there. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I, I'm not. Brushes. It's a bag of brushes. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Is that the brushes? Yeah. That's not. You're not getting all of them, but that's my bag of brushes. I think you were going to send me, what, 10 pair? <laughs> no. How, how many were you going to send me? Five Three. pairs? Three. Oh, I thought you were yeah. pairs. You had a handful. I thought I saw mm -hmm. a handful when you showed me a long time ago. Oh, he's, he's got a handful in those bags. <laughs> you okay on your swamper? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get my little stand here to hold my phone because my hands hurt. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen it fall down, crash. Yeah, you were walking up like you were a giant, and it saw your ceiling fan. <laughs> what would you do with 10 pairs of brushes, Brad? Yeah. Oh, uh, when mine were up? I put them on my, <laughs> oh, on my oh. car because I hadn't eaten. That's a lot of brushes. Yeah. Are those the vertical or the, uh, the one that lay down flat? I got a mix. Okay. I need stand-up ones. That's what I need. Stand-up? Brett's, Brett's got everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. He has everything but the kitchen sink. I got that's rid right, of Jack. a lot of stuff, though. A lot of that stuff is gone now. I, I oh, want his Winnebago. Pile, you can change yeah, them. No. <laughs> I want the Winnebago so it matches with mine. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> that, But he's not getting that because he wants that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have Winnebagos, Frank. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here you go, Frank. Ever... Here's the motor you need to put in your dragster. What is that one? It is a um, what is it? Orion Team Orion Chrome Touring, 
and I believe it's a 9.5 turn brush. Cool. Nice. <clears throat> I ran it one time and it smoked the ESC. It was up to. <laughs> oh. What yeah, ESC well, was that? That kind of motor limit. <laughs> What's that? Well, a nine turn. <laughs> a lot of ESCs can handle a nine turn motor. That's a really low motor limit. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't remember what the ESC yeah, was. Like I had it VX, up to. VXL from Traxxas can handle that. I don't know of another one that I own that uh, handle. That. Castle probably could. The castle won't. Yeah, the castle castle should. I asked them. Nope. They said, yeah. No. Nope. Thirteen turn man. Oh yeah. Thirteen oh, turn castle. Okay, wait, wait, aren't there castles, uh, the top of line castle take it? If I went to like an eight scale or something like that, it would work. I'm talking 10 scale. I yeah. have a, I have a top fuel 5.5 uh, turn in my dragster. Uh, so, so who would make a, 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 a ESC that takes a brush motor that lower, lower? Traxxas VXL has no motor limit. Yeah, any, I tried uh, it on there. It wouldn't turn it. I know. Well, I nope. used the I used the one That's from the What's that? I've never put a motor I've never put a motor up against the VXL and had it fail. Oh yeah. Well, it, it didn't run, fail. It, it just run, it barely, barely moved it. Right now. Doesn't never gets warm. Doesn't even blink an eye. Great. Love that ESC. But <laughs> which VXL though? The one from the Summit or uh, the other one? The VXL. Uh, uh, the one from the Slash. <coughs> So, so I guess a vehicle, I guess an ESC that can take a one and a half turn that's being made, uh, brush brushless will be able to take a, a nine and a half turn brushed probably. Yeah, low, lower the lower the number is the limit, right? So yeah. nine out of ten is it thirteen? That's like the 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 line in the sand for most ESCs is thirteen. Yeah. It can be higher, it can be lower by a bit, but even finding one that's a nine without getting hot on two or a three cell. Hard to find. Yep. Someone's yep. got to make them because people still have oh, those yeah. motors. Yeah, well, they're out there. It's just not uh, common. Orion, Orion, they use Orion. Sorry, they use Orion motors and, and and a few of the Kyosho models. Yeah. I had an Orion in my uh, in my Fox. Yep. O o Orion still makes motors. So does Trinity. I mean, this thing is stupid tight. Trying to turn it by hand. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. We're waiting for that one, my <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, that. Uh... There's your new t shirt, Ozzy. Uh, tight. Stupid tight. <laughs> well, I don't know, tight. but I'm liking that uh, that truck behind Lyle there. Can we have a squiz at that, mate? Which way? What are we looking at? That uh, truck behind your right shoulder there, mate. My right shoulder. Yep. What's the truck you got there? Oh, the X4 Tactical. The tracks is tactical, isn't it? No, the one down the bottom. The is that a night hauler? Oh, oh yeah, it's a yeah, night hauler. Yeah, that's a beast, man. Mm. I that's like the beast. colors. I like the color combination yeah. with the red or uh, and the uh, red stripe and the white. What's the sticker on top? Of Pick it? it up, Lyle. Pick it up and show us a bit it's closer, Darcy mate. Sparks that's Studios. awesome, man. Yeah, he's got the stickers on there, I think. Yep, and then his. Um, King man, Hall they're so it. big. Wow, that's awesome, man. Yeah, the Coca-Cola yeah. colors always look good together. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. you have beast. that on Loading Kings? And I bet you that I bet you that weighs ten pounds. <laughs> well, yeah. I did a video where I weighed them and I dra did a drag between the two. Yep, that was eight something, if I'm correct. And then that was one eight. of the. One of the greatest videos I ever had the pleasure of filming. I I love that so much. That was that was a fun video to watch. Yeah, the king is about oh, seven and a half, it? and the knight was about eight. Wow, it's nice. Eight pounds. That's a grand. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. He still he still he drives he drives yeah. semis and he has to have his little ones. <laughs> <laughs> missing a wiper. Yeah, there, I have no passenger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sang's here. Hey, Sang. That's nice, That's one long trip. That night hauler. That night hauler. That's a beauty, that thing. Very lucky to have them both. Yeah. yeah. They're just too expensive to, to buy here, you know. But yeah, they're coming. 
he's saying looks really things. relaxed. He's got a t-shirt on. <laughs> well, Pre-COVID, I, I, I made okay money. Post-COVID, I, 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 I work 11 or 12 hours a day for a very poor wage that just makes my bills. And every now and then I can buy it like an eight pack of these. That's it. So I won't be oh, buying what? these for a long time. Well, you're lucky you're not here, mate, because we're in the full flock down. Oh, yeah. Oh, and no one's and no out. one's getting any money from the government. So whoever's out of work, not making a cent. Three cases, four flock down. Absolutely oh. unbelievable what's going on here. That's insane. What's the same here? Parents are losing their jobs left, right, center because they can't go to work because they have to stay home. And yeah. after the well, the third well the third lockdown that we had. They, they, they gave out the government gave out money because people lost their their jobs, but now the fourth lockdown, no one's getting anything. Yeah. So how are people gonna buy Eat food, or rent this, that? You know, it's free cases. I mean, come on, no one's dying here. You, you know what? You know what? So, you know that that there, we have so many jobs that need to be filled where I'm at. That even grocery stores and other stores are offering offers, offering bonuses to sign up and get into their job. Well, oh, like my company's hiring too. Like there's jobs, there's lots of jobs available. Yeah, a, a grocery store is offering a five to a thousand dollar sign on bonus, and after six months, you get it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that way they make sure that's you're not there a sign on bonus. That's a contract. That's a contract. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the, the people are doing uh, a lot of companies you would never or never heard of were doing sign up bonuses or doing sign up bonuses just to get people in the door. Yeah, but Magnet, that's you, you, you bonus, also... that's a contract. That's yeah, a, that's a trick. That's a play on words. It's probably illegal in some places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, magnified. Uh, yeah, your your state has had cases and whatever, but your state hasn't gone into lockdown like us. That's no. the, 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 your state is run differently than us. We got the worst. I'm at the worst puppets place in here. America. Yeah. Yeah, you, you Google it. Who's doing the worst in North America? Alberta, Canada. Alberta, Canada. Oh, really? And they got some of the biggest wide open spaces in the in, in Canada. I know, no, Darren. That's not I know. True. Saskatchewan <laughs> and Manitoba and Winnipeg all kill us. Or Saskatchewan and Manitoba kill Alberta for open space. But yeah, it's probably like six people per square kilometer or something like that. Where it's like wow. one point two in Saskatchewan. Googly eyed Dodge yeah. Ram. I think. Uh, <laughs> What? They were yeah. saying on the news that the U.S. Uh, like what you got fifty percent of adults are vaccinated. Actually, more so, than half of our people are vaccinated. There's over 180 million people that are vaccinated in our country now. That's yeah. over half our yeah. our population. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah, but I spoke to someone that I'm close to who uh, works out of the states in the medical field, and uh, they told they told me that uh, it's all experimental. Now, in the medical field, they're what you call the uh, first in line to get it. But uh, she, she ain't taking it. She ain't taking it. All right? Oh, well, I already had it and nothing's happened to me. Um, yeah. Tyranny here, magnified. It's tyranny. It's all tyranny, mate. That's what it is. They're all tyrants, these clowns, puppets. The Sang. Here it is, Sang. Sang here, is he? Where is he? Yeah, Sang, Sang here. Yep. Watch yeah. and hit the start button, the key button. I say it comes on. Wow, we've okay. got sound. I can turn on the lights. It's bigger than one tenth, ain't it? We'll just scroll that the one eight. Got a horn, that's one eight, and it's got different speed right now. That's on um, first speed. If I hit the speed button, it goes green and then it goes red. So it's got three speeds and it goes forward, and I can shut it off. And it's got a nice shiny body. It's got a nice shiny paint job. I fixed the door, so all the doors are fixed. Yeah, but what about the car? It, it runs. Everything runs. And Sang, if you want it, it's yours. I give it to you. Oh, no what? way. Hey, I think it's hey, quick. Hey, quick. Can I record this? Oh. Is there a way I can record this? I've got to get this, mate. This is a collector's <laughs> item. I'm actually seeing someone him giving something away. I can't believe it. The only bad thing about it is rear wheel drive. Luckily, it's on YouTube. So it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's on YouTube. Yeah, it is rear wheel drive. It's on YouTube. Wow, thank you. It's, uh, that's very close to what I drive. Yeah, so if you want it, like, 
I got it for free, so that's the reason I'm giving it to you for free. I fixed it. Uh, a couple things. Uh, well, there's a catch saying. There's a catch here, mate. There's got to be a catch. There's he, a doesn't, catch. There's no catch. He, does, he doesn't give stuff away for nothing. There's got to be a catch here. So what are you giving him, saying? He's not um, giving you anything. If you want to, it's it. Like, what are you swapping him for? <laughs> who makes it? I forgot who makes that car. And uh, oh. and you say it ha- and it's digital proportion, correct? It's what? Digital proportion. Yes, oh, it is. Better. It is digital. Two wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> That's nice. There you go. Say another Say video. You better for you, drive man. to his place and get it. <laughs> well, I probably want to get rid of it. Who wants a two wheel drive in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> it is 27 megahertz and it's uh, first RC. That makes it. Drive. Oh. That's 27 cute. megahertz. Wow. Yeah, but it's a multi channel one. Good old 27 megahertz, eh? So it's 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 interesting and it's uh fine. Fine. 27 megahertz works. RC84 Is that boat in the back there? Yeah, fire boat. Yeah, is it That's... run? Uh yes, it runs. It's a shelf coin though. That's what Chris has it for there, mate. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that the Pro boat? That's the same as uh, Aaron's. Aaron's got that. Yeah. Oh it's man. Like, yeah. Uh... yeah, it's a pretty big boat. Yeah, that's sweet, man. Yeah, I Water remember when Aaron, when Aaron got his. And, very and, nice. Uh, and how much it. does it weigh? Not heavy at all. It's very Did light. Brush- Is it? Did you make your brushes? No, I left it stock. I'm sure all the water yeah, works, yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, that's yeah. funny, Kagan. All the water cannons <laughs> working on stuff? Like, yeah. Uh, that's cool. what Brad always says. How fast it go? Okay. <laughs> so those uh those there uh i remember when they came out and on tower hobbies they're like 900 bucks to buy here can you show the bottom again that's cool man good it's that red, was like a kit too red. right it was unprotected now it's protected yeah now mm. it's red just like the mini <laughs> you build small, that small not- prop from ready to run. Almost got Boy, I like that. I like my Bristol Bay better, which I'm proud to say is one of the most viewed boats on YouTube. Which one? Bristol oh, Trawler. Bristol oh, the Bristol Trawler. The Bristol Trawler. Yeah. No, the, no, the Bristol Bay. Ah. Oh. Now, the only thing on this boat, I don't know why they put a water cool system on it. It doesn't go fast enough for it to actually even pick up water. Oh, yeah. a Right there's the water inlet for it. Okay. What? Yeah. Well, I you could probably you could probably so, rig something up, like put a, 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 a one of those silicon tubes that can, you can run out of there. What's that other one for? Is that Pick for the up. water for the jets? That's I mean, the, the cannons. Yeah, that's for the pump. That's okay. for the pump. Yeah. Maybe they expect you to put a faster motor in it for that's why it's called water cool. Nah, those boats aren't for for speed, Brad. Everything's speed to you, mate. That's not a speed Actually, boat. There are boats that are very fast. That's, That's not a speed boat. It's a fire boat. They're not supposed to go 100 miles an hour. What's the matter with you? The scale. That's really nice, scale. man. Scale. <laughs> you could put a, maybe a, a better system in it, yeah, but you know, it's a scale boat. Yeah. There's not much scale. Oh, the the pumps and all that sort of stuff work pretty good. Oh yeah, they yeah, they're good. Boat. You should yeah, you should yeah. do a video where you put out a fire with it. I it have looks amazing on a trailer too, like you're towing a. Oh, yeah. you got a nice truck. So that looks out. sick. Yeah, that's nice, man. Yeah, there you go. Got all the colors: the green, the red. Beautiful. Christmas it's even got. Is it got a cabin lights as well, there, Chris? Yeah, cabin light inside. Yeah. Oh, it's got the lights inside oh, as well. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Being on the bottom. Now, what yeah. scale is that you know, to, you know? Ah. You know? I, you know I it's scale like one, two scale. Not That's actually. nearly a meter long, isn't it, Chris? It's about a meter long, isn't it? Just you under. What? It's about a meter long or something, isn't it? Uh, hey, it's it's just under. Just under, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, shy of being... 900 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A meter, Chris, is three feet. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, it's nice, though. 
<laughs> Brad, it's not how fast, but how cool it is. Magnified. It can still be cool and still be fast. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for showing that me, man. That's cool. I like that boat. Yeah, yeah no problem. They probably get them cheap. You probably get them cheap these days, um, Colonel. You can probably get them cheap, mate. <laughs> yeah. Ninety-five. They're still a seven hundred dollar boat. That doesn't look like it's a cheap. Yeah, boat I like to your me. eyes too. <laughs> well, that's my dad's doing. I I got the truck for his sixtieth birthday, so he had to build it and everything. He's like, I want to put little eyes on there. <laughs> and that's fun to watch it through googly eyes when you're like running it. Nose. The ram sticker looks like his nose, and then the mouth is a builder's nose. kit. Yeah, yeah, it was a builder's kit. Yeah, who made the body for it? Yeah, I thought so. Magnified, oh, yeah. The what? Yeah, that's a pro line oh, oh. body. Yeah, yeah, pro -line. yeah, it's a pro line Dodge Ram. Yeah. Not many people have the Dodge Rams as, as bodies for their cars. Not many make them. <laughs> well, who would want a Ram? Well, that's what you said. There you oh. go. <laughs> Dumb and dumber, eh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, had the RPR Ram. Not a lot of people know this, but if you fail your driving test three times in a row, you get 25% off a of Dodge truck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Sang? Can you put Sang up? Oh, hold on. Sang's got a friggin' dog on his truck, mate. Oh, oh that's yeah, a monster that's truck. Nice. There's a monster truck based on that. That's, 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 that's monster from Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't, just don't take the, uh, cover, the dog cover off, mate, because uh, you'll have Brad going for half an hour. Even ooh, like, ooh, I know what it is. Of course, you know what it is. Of course. <laughs> uh, Magnified said that 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 boat is still seven hundred and fifty dollars here. That fire boat. Really, uh, like four hundred yeah. US. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty here. <clears throat> Insanity. Like awesome thing. What's everyone's thoughts on all the different HPI bodies that are being re-released? They just dropped four more the other day. Oh, really? I haven't seen anything from HPI. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> They've dropped a whole bunch of new body or yeah, re-released bodies. Yeah, they dropped a couple of rally cars. Okay. Yeah, so the the well, the yeah, Wheelie King didn't like the Wheelie King. <laughs> It's about yeah, but time that they re-release some stuff from HPI because they've been bought out since twice now, I think, since yeah. HPI died. Who, who owns them now? Who owns them now? Five. No times. one. No, they're, they're 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 with one person right now. I yeah, who owns the them? Ten back. Who owns? No, but the they're bringing HPI the Fireball motor back. Well, who owns them now? No, no. Some Swedish company, I think. That's what I heard last what? too. But you offering a milk? I think they might have sold them. Wow. <laughs> so, so what? So what are the? So what are the bodies that they re-released? Couple of rally cars and stuff. Just the rally, the Jim Carners. No, a couple of there was the rally cars, and I think there was like a. Maybe they had to re-release them, or else they'd lose licensing or lose the rights to them, and yeah. other companies could take it or something. Yeah, I'll well, that's the only one I know is the Jim Carner rally car. That's the only one I know. Yeah, no, they had the red rally car, the red. I, I, at least they're at least they're the first people to come out with a, a vintage motor back again, Fireball. Yeah, those motors. I recommend to anyone those motors. We talked about them last week. Yeah, Brad talked about them twice already tonight too. Yeah, they're great motors. Those. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They're an Dorian. They're an Dorian. Put me onto those motors. I, 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 I'm hoping that people take uh, make suit and they will bring out their vintage motors back again like they just did. As of 2019, it was Vestergaard Group that was the owners of HPI. I so how many? So they've been owned five times. Is that correct? I know. Yeah. No, I'm asking. Not you know. I'm asking. Is that have they have been owned five times? What a yeah. joke. Yes, I, I know they've been bought and sold five different times. The That's last one that I'm finding here is Vestergaard Group, a Dan uh, Danish HQ. I am. And that's of but 2019, but I know there was one after that, and I can't find it. 
So, they, but they're not bringing out any new RCs, though, are they? They just re- Mag- all Magnify. they did was release uh, those Mag- jump shot things, yeah. whatever they are. No, they, 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 they are. They are bringing those back, but they've also been revised and and there's been enhancements to them, so they're not. Well, that's really what I want to see, Tank. I think the Maverick Maverick series, like uh, Magnitude, is the same. Maverick is, is the same as HPI, yes. Is, is it, it? A new, newer design? Yes. So I just know they've enhanced their parts. Well, Magnified said that in the chat. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Magnified has said everything in the chat. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing I can't find is a scabby hard body. Uh, <laughs> hard body in so that looks like an international scout. Hard hard scabby body. hard body. <laughs> They're nice wheels, those wheels. The, the El Camino is back out. Okay. The Silverado, which is that one. The that a Baja 5B body. I see wow. the El Camino tank. That one, I like that one. That one is actually a good truck for. There's the um, El Camino. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty cool body there. Mm. I, I know I know that their chassis have had some new enhancements with them. They've they've structurally made them different a little bit. And that right there we can run on the um lightning chassis in the um lightning race class. That's a nice body. Yeah, yeah it is, the it? RS4 one. Black one. The yeah, U- the, the RS4. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Definitely. I didn't like the Wheelie King. I had a Wheelie King. Hey, Jake. <laughs> God, we got a lot of Canadians today. That's all right. I like it. <laughs> Vestergaard Group. Yeah, Brian Taff. Vestergaard Group. That's what Brett said, I think. Yeah. Is that the current one, Brian? That's the only one I'm finding, but I heard they had been sold again, but I don't know. Magnify says Maverick RC and HBI are under the same place, Neil. Yeah. Maverick is their lower price if you will yep actually i don't mind their rally cars the mavericks they no, make a nice rally nice. car sorry they're actually really nice they are the, the rally car that they do is really nice yeah they, really, but, yeah, they released a red rally car body the, either this week or last week the red well uh, they did the orange subaru again oh yeah that's what it was the orange subaru yep the bug eye hey jake hey jake Hey guys, hey Jake, yeah, did you get that video on the Rimic? Uh, maybe. I hope you watched it because I knew you'd get a kick out of it. <laughs> Sir Jake is working away. Yeah, always working. <laughs> yeah, Brian Taft says uh, Vestergaard Group is the yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, but I could have sworn I had heard that someone bought him after that. Maybe oh, yeah? not. Maybe they were trying to sell it and they didn't. I don't know. I can't believe they've had five owners. That's insanity. Yeah, since yeah. Uh, 2015. That's insanity. Oh, man. Didn't Texas buy them out too? No. Wasn't it Texas? They, they were not allowed to buy them. Oh, okay. Why? Monopoly, probably. Yep, exactly. Why well, could that be a monopoly when freaking... I know. I, I agree. I know Everybody. what you think. Yeah, I when know. the horizon not everything, this that was free. right. <laughs> yeah, I that's why I'm like, yeah, they wouldn't let that happen, but they let this happen. Mm. You got to pay the right congressman, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, the senator, right, senator. <laughs> well, the, thing a, about, a, the thing about Horizon a, Hobby is that all their brands specialize in something different. There's the there's the big idea. Yeah, they're thing. trying to do that. Yeah. There's the biggest BS light bulb battery. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's that that thing's actually, that, that hangs it's two S. It's actually three hundred milliamp thirty C. Look at all the size of the. Wow. Yeah, and what that, do you man. run it in? How long does that last, John? Three hundred yeah. milliamp. Yeah, it's three hundred milliamp thirty C. Not crazy. I actually, I actually use them for my controllers. For the controllers. Oh, so there they. So how long do they last in your controller? Long yeah. enough to get a whole day's run. I don't. Yeah, yeah I use. I just use. Uh, what is it? I use fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Where's my pinky finger? Huh? 
Thirteen hundreds, fifteen hundreds last year a long time in the controllers. Yeah. Oh, hell it's yeah. funny. It, it's funny. You could have the same milliamp, amp, but then you go into a lipo against a NIM and the lipo is gonna last longer with the same milliamp. John, what'd you say it was about as big as your pinky finger? Uh, so it's not even as my pinky finger is bigger, so that little battery. That's what she said. That's what she said. That little battery. That's why I said that little oh, battery. Trying to <laughs> Hey, trying that to can be considered that, that. You could say that's a that's a that's yeah, a that be... like that. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> hey Matthias, how you doing, mate? Who? Matthias, I see. Yes, yeah. Welcome, man. Matthias, yeah. He's he's Matthias. up. Oh, Matthias. God, Bread. Hello, Matthias. Yeah, if it was Hello, Matthias, 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 I see you'd be doing backflips. I know that, Bread. I know, yeah. Who, who was? Who would I be doing backflips for? Who did you say I'd be doing Matthias. backflips? Matthias. 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 My God, I, the Tamir King is in the hook. <laughs> yeah, why would <laughs> he follow us? That's crazy. He'd be right. salivating. <laughs> <laughs> He's up early. How's your magazine, Brad? Does the page still open? I I don't have them in front of me. They're they're in a folder. Oh, they're in a folder. Do you see my screen, do you see my screen Brad? Oh, it's Matthias. <laughs> I, I, Matthias. You guys said Matthias. There's a different. No, you I didn't say Matthias. Yeah. Yeah. What the I, heck? Matthias, you should get in the video Thank chat, you. man. I am sucked is... to him. We talk a lot. No. We do talk a lot. You talk a lot. Yeah. Totally <laughs> loud. No, I comment with him a lot. Is what I meant. I comment with him a lot. And that's not what Matthias she said. RC, not Matthias. Where did you get Matthias from? You see, man, that's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like to me. I'm sorry. Nah, 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 not, not that bloke. Right, got, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night. So, bye. What time bye, is it? Bye, Very nice, Sean. No worries, mate. Don't forget to, don't forget to make my time slot there for the next uh, stream, mate. I'll make your time slot tomorrow night. I'll even call. <laughs> it. I'll go live eleven o'clock tomorrow night, my time, and I'll call it just for Jack. <laughs> hey, hey, that's about the only share that I'll get. No, that's it. I'll do it at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Deal. Gone. I'll call it just. Let's, let's, let's hope I'm awake, not sleeping. Are you? Oh, it's, this time, it's this time of night. It's this time right now. Yeah, it's uh, 1 22 p.m. here. Yeah, so I'll do one tomorrow night around this time. I'll call it just for Jack. What are you building? Nah. 10 22 here. Yeah, Critters working on something. First time. What is uh, that? First time. Guys, I'm out of here. Good night, Sean. Say hello, bro. Good night, Sean. What are you working on, working on Drake? I'm working on my bomber. Oh, heading wow. to uh, Warsaw Caves on the weekend. Ooh, nice. He, he, he's working on State Farm. G6, <laughs> former G6 location. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going uh, on the 19th to the 20th. Some guys are going to be there 18, 19, and 20 years. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Camping or just going up for the day? Okay, yeah. I might have to go twice. <laughs> Twist your arm, right? Oh, I know. It's so so just horrible brutal. going there. I am just going to brutal. post it on SoCrawl. So if some people want to go, uh, I will post it there that we're going there. So hopefully there's going to be a bunch of people show up. The caves are closed, but we don't care about the caves. No, the caves. Yeah, they they've been closed. They're they're closed because of the COVID stuff. Yeah, which is weird. They don't want people. In this. They're a cave. Yeah, it's a cave, but you can. Get I think it's, they don't want the gathering. Yeah. They don't want the bats to get them. Yeah. 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 Uh, the caves, one, the one, caves one, are not one, that big. <clears throat> Man, if I said leave the bomber at home and take the SCX ten. Uh, now I'm gonna probably take that too. Is the bomber new or uh, the new one? For, for a little bomber bit. 2.0 though, right? Isn't it? Yeah, it's a 2.0. So you got the bomber and you got the gatekeeper. Yeah, <clears throat> gatekeeper's back there. And Which the camera, right? Which one? I, I a... <laughs> Which, one's, Which one's more of a beast, Jake? Oh, bomber. You like the bomber better? Oh, yeah. 
Well, I, I got a short course truck motor in it, so. Uh, what what about what about the other one that the other vehicles based on the 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 new one that's based on that car without the uh, roof, well, the cage, the cage. You're talking about oh, you're the echo talking the, element. The element, yeah, yeah, the echo. It's the same truck, just without the cage. Uh, are you planning on getting one of those or no? No. I try not to get duplicates. Even though it's somewhat not exactly a duplicate. Well, I don't count a body being well, different. Yeah, I thought it doesn't cool. have a cage, is what I said. I thought it didn't have a cage. Or it's, or. it's the same drivetrain. It's the same axle. It's the same suspension. It's the same everything except for the... It's like buying the same RC but putting a different hood on it or a different, uh, different body. I didn't think it had a cage on it. Shetty, cage they're different. No, there's I thought it didn't have a roll cage on it. That's why. It's still the same. It's, it's still, still going to handle the same. Yeah. Close to the same. The weight's going to be a little bit different, but it's still going to handle pretty much close to the same. Yeah. It's no point. If you didn't have a gatekeeper, sure. Yeah. I bet it's cheaper than the gatekeeper, isn't it? Uh, never looked. Couldn't oh, tell yeah. you. I would assume so. I would assume so, yeah. Uh, Magnify says, I dislike the cage truck. I uh, see. It's not for everybody. I no. myself, I like the cage look. I like the wraith. Uh, I like my uh, sub riff. Mm -hmm. They're nice. Sendero HD is pretty cool too. I got the original. <laughs> yeah, you get the <laughs> HD, <laughs> the real HD. Actually, the HD that's out it doesn't have the same solid axles. Oh. Well, it's actually um, so the original Sendero has the they call normal plastics. The HD has the semi-hardened plastic. Hmm. Which are better for the winter? Uh, I'd assume so. Because I know that there's stuff that someone makes for tracks it's like, it's like it's more winter resistant plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I forget what they call them. Their arms are, I think the HDs arms. or whatever. Yeah. The, um, gatekeeper is 449 and the Ecto is 399. 399. So yeah. it's less. Yep. Well, but it's not even out yet. So mm. expect either the car June. I just bought, it's not in the United States at least. I don't know how JD got uh, JD got his, but maybe a pre production <laughs> one. Yeah. The new. Uh, and Tim's gonna take out no, the, the one I the one I just bought. I just can't believe he got uh, he got it. And I hear they weren't even released in the United States yet. And I have no clue. Oh, and who you know? Yeah, I don't know how he knows those people. Then <laughs> lasers. Look at him. He's got a trail walker body. Yeah, he's got a trail it. walker body. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that one. What do you I have? That? I Nothing. can't. Nothing uh, at all. That's a Chevy body. No, it's a trail walker. Uh -oh. Trail walker. But it, it still looks like a Chevy front end, is what I'm trying to say. Or more. But it looks like an international side profile. Yeah. 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 So they just they just did a conglomerate of its <laughs> of it's different vehicles. Body. They did not want to pay a license for it. So. Yeah. My problem though, I can't find. It looks like a Toyota from the back. My, because <laughs> it's a short wheelbase setup. Uh, that was the trail walker. But it got beefy. Yeah, it got beefy. <laughs> There's no fender. I like the paint. I like the paint on that. It's very yes. chromy. Very chromatic. Very chrome in color. Yes. It's got a tow rope. Yes. Yeah, you Fair run out. it in bright sunshine, you'll be blinded by it. <laughs> Laid down shocks? Where the heck you lay down the shocks for? The what? You put the shocks laid down like really on a big yeah. angle. Yeah. Almost a complete cantilever setup. It's for more flex. Uh, a little, yeah. little more leverage. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got carbon fiber, carbon fiber chassis rails. Wow. Yeah, yeah look at that. It's semi, <laughs> it's semi cantilevered, <laughs> is what you could call that, I guess. <laughs> GSP chassis. Oh, belly dragger. Belly dragger. Yes. <clears throat> I build one of those. 
Yeah. You said you built one of those? Oh, I got to. A lot of guys take them up to Bracebridge Mountain. There's yeah. Not, there's not a lot of stuff left stock on there, right? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that, that's something that's something Jake would do. Oh yeah. He he he'd make it barrel fisted and cut yeah. his nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh Brent. Oh don't don't even you're, do you have a twenty twenty one? Then I'm not even looking. No. Look what it says. <clears throat> And this I just already discontinued. Wow. It said it's discontinued? Yeah. I thought they were coming back. And to my USA. They, wow. I told you they're doing a big clean out right now. They're getting rid of a bunch of stuff again. Yeah, but I just paid for one of those. And it's on, it's on order. It's on pre-order. Then buy parts. What? Then buy parts. I haven't even gotten the kit. So I pre-order. I got it from Tower Where Hobbies. Where did you pre-order it from? Tower Hobbies. Get with them and make sure they're still getting it. Yeah. They say they're getting it on the 21st. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then wait and so see. I just, I, just, I just happened to look that up and see now. I was like, ah, that might be a little bit of inf useful information for you. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I can't believe they, that that hadn't been out, what, three months yet? Well, it was limited months. edition, too, wasn't it? What? Wasn't it a limited edition? I, I don't know how limited yeah. it was. Ultra limited, apparently. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Curtis. What, what are they saying about the, 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 the Grasshopper 2 Black Edition? They, they discontinued, too, because that's on pre-order also. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Okay, guys, we're going to start doing the round table and saying bye to everybody. Uh, don't leave because we do have an after hour show that is not broadcast. That's where everybody kind of swears at each other. And <laughs> tell them that they're full of crap and things like that. So uh, let's uh, start with John Martin. Bottom. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And uh, let's go out and uh, race something and break something and charge them batteries up. Cool. Thank you very much. Bumpers RC, are you still there? Still here. <laughs> Can you hear me? You bye to everybody. Yeah, you want to say bye? Yeah, thanks for everybody for showing up and uh, yeah, get out and have some fun. Cool. Get on your Bill Boynton champion bloke. Jack, your turn. Yeah, thanks for having me on and everyone in the chat. Have a good weekend and, uh, and uh, thanks for coming to the bread show again. Cool. Thank you very much. The Brad show. <laughs> That's because you never stop talking. Uh, Trail Critter RC. Sorry, I was late, but thanks for the invite as always, and uh, we'll see everyone later. Thank you very much, AZ Froggy. Thank you for the invite, Frank. Everyone, hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Um, go have a good weekend. Stay safe. Thank you very much, Brad Kalman. Thanks for everybody for joining us. We had a good crew today. Uh, most of them Canadian, but that's not a problem. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, but I hope we have more people soon, some more like we did last time. Why? The less people is better because we can talk easier to each other. Well, you, you, well, you want to rephrase that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just you want to rephrase it? <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> well, there's more people to rephrase You've insulted it. Jack. Uh, um, no. No, he hasn't insulted me. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's having me, Frank. <laughs> people people oh. trying to trying to get their words in, but uh, when you got bread up here, it's a bit hard, mate. Yeah, it's a little hard. Uh, Sang, go ahead. Well, it's good to see everyone. Uh, <laughs> learn some new stuff. Have good laughs. Um, I look forward to Thursday, believe it or not, and uh, it's also close to the weekend. So, uh, and thanks for the uh, Mini Cooper. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Yeah, I can't believe that. That's just the. That's just. I, I can't believe it. There is a catch. There is a catch to it. I know there's a catch. I know. I took the I double know. days out. 
I took it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to buy some batteries there, saying hey, you know what's weird? Oh. At least the horn in that car worked, and my real car horn doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks for jumping in, Green Frog RC. Go ahead. Thanks for having me, Frank. I appreciate you doing this every week and being consistent about it. It's nice to be able to have a place to come every week and hang out in the chat or be able to come in here. So, here, here. Not a top top gentleman right there. Yeah. It was fun. We were 14 tonight, so that was a good crowd tonight. Mm -hmm. How many can you have in there? Over 100. 100 100 on on camera. Yeah, 100 Mm -hmm. on camera. Oh, they changed it, did they? Well, it's been like this. Zoom has been like that for a long time. It's uh, it's uh, the other one that you can't be. Streamyard, uh, you can only have six. Yeah. You can have more if you pay. I think it's 12 no. for 10. Is it? No, okay. Okay, uh, RC84 Films. Uh, thanks for having me. Sorry I joined in so late here, but uh, yeah, but hope everyone has a good night, day, whatever, <laughs> wherever you're at. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, KBRC. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, Tank, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, too. Hey, I was wondering, I'm going to start making a new uh, thing called Mud and Mondays. If anybody has mud, and post them on Mondays, all right? Mud and Mondays. Facebook? Yeah, Mud and Mondays on YouTube. Mate, on mate YouTube? listen, I'm not worried about Mud and Mondays. This next time you come on here, just give me a bucket of chicken, mate. Yeah, I got yeah. something for you. <laughs> you got something? Oh, yeah, oh, I got something for, for you, for man. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, Lyle. On the phone. Yeah, Lyle. Come on, mate. Uh, glad to Lyle's be got something again. funny coming. Come on, Lyle. You got something funny coming. I could see it, mate. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know the camera was that low. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Molly had a great time. I had a great time. I look forward to the after hours. And yeah, I agree. Don't forget to hit the thumb and get more people on here. Let's see some more. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, Radioactive Scale RC. Yeah, thanks again, Rank, for the invite and everyone that was in the chat. A few new guys that I met today, so that's great. And everyone that was uh, on the video, and I hope to keep coming out Thursday nights. I look forward to these. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, I do too. Uh, Radioactive. Right, radioactive. Uh, yeah, mate. You, you actually wearing a shirt of poison there, mate. Sorry, I have to say that. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny you say that because I'm drinking whiskey and Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Tank, if uh, I cut out after the chat, let me back in. I, I, something happened to my computer last time with Sean, and it just went blank. So I tried to get back in. And- open now. You can buy two six packs, you get four six packs for free. And Coke uh-huh. right now. What? Yeah, yeah. Well put. That's odd. Okay. Well, uh, stay. Like I said, don't disconnect. Stay on. And uh, if ever you do to get disconnect, just click back in. You should be able to get back in. All right. uh, anyways, guys, thanks for showing up. Thanks everybody in the chat. Uh, hopefully, we'll see Magnified RC back in here soon. Yeah, I uh, do too. Who? Well, he says in the he said in the chat that he might come up next week. Yeah. Good. Cool. cool. Good. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. And uh, don't forget, keep those batteries charged. Go out there and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you guys. You stole that line off me. Get your own own lines, mate. (laughs) That's that's what my age says. There's a lot of people.